Adebanke Olayuola is a certified airline transport and commercial pilot. She's the first female black pilot in the entire world to fly a dream lifter aircraft. I know she will let us know what a dream lifter is, but then there are only four of these dream lifters in the world. Just four. Lesser than the continents we have in this world. <laughs> She's also one of the few female pilots to have ever flown the MD-83 aircraft, which has quite an interesting reputation among pilots. Now, she has not only shattered the glass ceiling, but is riding a path of her own. And it is really great to have this trailblazer in the studio today. Now, that's... That used to be one of my sober case young, uh, when I was much younger, trailblazer, but she's a real trailblazer. It's great to have you. You're welcome. It's a, it's a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> You're Good welcome. Morning. Wow. Morning. Okay, okay. Now, there's so much about you. I, I could go on and on about your profile and all of that. But then, what's a, oh, let's start with the Dream Lifter. What's a Dream Lifter Festival? Okay, a Dream Lifter is, uh, is a 747-800-LCF, mm. which is a... Uh, uh, large uh, Can you speak cargo please aircraft. Speak English. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the L, uh, the Dreamlifter, like I said, is a 747 series, but it, there are only four of it built by uh, Okay, Boeing. so that's it, right? Yes. That's it. Yes, that's mm. it. There mm. are only four of those aircraft built by Boeing and strictly to carry other aircraft, um, specifically built for 787. Mm. The, uh, the Dream Liner, the so 787. they can carry other F uh, yes. aircraft. So yes. that means that you're flying it, you're probably flying like two aircraft at the same time. Technically, yes. Wow. That's what we are doing. So it's going to be like where we, uh, the Boeing uh, company have to go to some part of the world, okay. like maybe in Japan. The, okay. where I, the last time I flew it, I flew it to Japan, Na okay. Na Nagoya, Japan, right. whereby we went there to carry other part of the 787. Seven. Cool. So... That's what the dream lifter is used. It's used to fly other aircraft. Okay, now I know you have a health background. You studied health sciences mm -hmm. and all of that. But then how come uh, the whole, the shift, the career shift from, I know you started as a health worker in uh, an airline. Yes. And then where did the love for flying just come from? Okay, for me, I've always uh, wanted to see the world. I'm from Ibadan. I grew up in Ibadan. <laughs> I love my city. Of course you yeah, do. Yes, Ibadan city. So all the while, I wanted to see the world. So when I was seven in Lagos, I served with uh, a bank in Lagos, and I wanted, I've always, I've always wanted to even work with an airline, and that then it, it fell through. So I went to uh, for my masters in England. Okay. It was while I was there that I got the job with Etihad Airways, wow. and they were looking for aviation health trainers. Wow. And while I was in Etihad Abu Dhabi, a lot of the pilot, a lot of people I work with. A pilot is an open space with a lot of pilots, a lot of uh, other recruiters. We are all one open space. And when we are not training, when we are not in uh, the classroom training, we also fly okay. to recruit around the world and uh, see what the flight attendants are doing. So anytime we are flying, how we go or well, maybe I'm traveling to go to other country to recruit, mm. are we going to the cockpit? I have the opportunity, I will be asking them questions. questions. What is happening? What, what's going on here? Uh, and uh, one, uh, one of the pilots is like, I think you have the bug. You, have, you, have, yeah. you should actually try what we call uh, introductory flight. Hmm. If you like it, because it's something to like the act of flying mm. and it's another thing to, to actually, actually fly. fly. Right. So once I, I did that and he asked me, and he actually, he actually motivated me, paid for my introductory flight. Wow. And I did that wow. and, I, and he asked me, how do you feel? I said, I felt good. Mm. He said, then you don't have any excuse not to pursue, not to pursue this. Pursue this.